How's everybody do? <laughs> Nikki the Pooh? What is this Subaru? Is this really how we're starting up today's live stream? With Nikki the Pooh? <laughs> what is it on the hood? Oh, there's a picture of my R32 rip Volkswagen in this game. <laughs> there, he's even got a little AR12 sticker up on the wing. Yo, that's so sick! Well played to you, buddy. Well played. <laughs> I had some ideas that I that I wanted to do today. I even went and wrote a list of things. So, I don't know which one we should start with. DJ's saying front wheel drive. Expensive stuff, front wheel drive. I actually see a lot of front wheel drive stuff. Okay, I don't mind. Let's do some front wheel drive stuff. That's how we'll start it up. You know how we went in and we found the ultimate um, off-road and we went in and we found the ultimate sleeper car. Well, today, I wanted to find the ultimate front-wheel drive car. It's something that I guess a lot of people don't actually drive in this game. I mean, probably... I don't, hey, let's take a quick look. Yeah, I don't think anyone here is front-wheel drive. Everyone in this game either drives all-wheel drive stuff or rear-wheel drive stuff. So, I felt like it might be cool to try something a bit different. So, you guys can take whatever car you want, whatever budget you want, providing that the car is front-wheel drive... You're good to take it, and then we'll do some races and try to figure out who or what is the fastest front-wheel drive car. So, Twitch chat, do you have any suggestions? Some guy says the 2010 Focus RS. That is not front-wheel drive. Renault Clio Civic. A Ford Focus is a good choice, but I don't know if they have a front-wheel drive Ford Focus in this game. Well, let's see. Yeah, that one's all-wheel drive, and the other Focus. Is there another Focus? I mean, there's a Fiesta. That's front-wheel drive. And this one is front-wheel drive. That's the uh, Focus ST. Any Ford Focus RS. Whoa, that Ford Focus RS is actually front-wheel drive. Did not know that. That one is also front-wheel drive. Huh. Today I learned. Anyways, okay. Let's sort it by front-wheel drive cars only and see what the game thinks is the fastest one. Is there going to be anything over B class? I saw an A class. Oh, Civic Type R. That's not bad. Civic Type R is definitely not bad. Oh, there's also a Renault Megane. That's a good little hot hatch as well. I kind of want to take this Renault. Like, the Renault's very different. Alright, I hope this- I hope this- <laughs> This Renault's good. I mean, it was 50 horsepower down on the Civic. I think it should be okay, if I'm honest. The main thing's gonna be tires and weight reduction. Obviously, no making it rear-wheel drive and stuff. You're not allowed to do that. We can swap an engine, though. Get it up to 300 horsepower right away. Can we actually upgrade this engine or no? That's what I was worried about. Like, should we just keep the stock engine in? I don't know what I'm doing today, boys. I don't know how I want to upgrade this. Oh, yeah. That might be better. Let's see. What can this get me up to? Oh, yeah, this engine is way faster. Yeah, screw that upgraded engine. So this is going to be a 500 horsepower front-wheel drive car. This is going to go badly. This is going to be understeering a la frickin' max. Oh, my God. We're already A-class. Yeah, weight reduction 2 on this. Oh, my God. We go up to S. <laughs> this thing's gonna be pretty quick. All right, race tire. Wow, this car is already basically on the qu uh, equivalent of sport tires. That's pretty good. All right, let's get some really fat front tires. 255 in the front. Let's get the same in the back. This is gonna be dumb. Oh, those ADV ones actually look sick on there. Can we up these a bit? I actually kind of like them small. I kind of like it. Do we get a front splitter in front and like a rear wing and stuff? I mean, we don't really need the rear wing. Yeah, and it looks stupid. So I guess that's it for upgrades. 534 horsepower, 2,500 pounds. That's okay. All right, tuning, reduce that front tire pressure because we'll spin our wheels everywhere. Yo, if we can actually do 200 miles an hour with a front wheel drive car, I'm just saying that'd be pretty cool. I don't even know, I don't even know how to tune a front wheel drive car. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yo, you brought a Focus ST, buddy. Yo, the Fulvia. I didn't know the Fulvia was an option. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> I'm genuinely not trying to crash like that. <laughs> it's just really, really powerful. All of those front wheels. Alright, so what have people taken? People are in. Little Voxel. There's a Voxel Astra. Scotland Police. Brilliant stuff there. Got another Renault. Another Renault. Lancia Fulvia. Very cheeky. Ford Focus ST. Ford Focus RS, the old one. I really had no idea that that was front-wheel drive. 
Mazda 3. That's a good choice as well. We've got two Honda Civic Type R's. One of them with my car. <laughs> well played, buddy. Well played. So what class is everyone? Is there, has like, I feel like one car is much faster than all the others. Let's take a look. Oh no, everyone's S S1 class. I mean, the Renaults are 862. The Civics are 888. That's pretty quick. The Focus is S883. All right, so let's go and uh, test these things. I was actually expecting that there would be one car so much faster than all the others, but having them all pretty much the same isn't bad. That's good. All right, so you know what? I kind of like this course up here. Let's go try that. I mean, it's a little bit of a rally cross course. It'll be used as our warm-up, so let's uh, give it a go over there, and then and then we'll do some proper track racing as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yo, all these little hatchbacks, though. They're so sick. Let's give this a go. See how we do. So we've got four Renault Megans. DJ is in a Renault Megan, and we've got two guys in Civic Type Rs, which seem to be the fastest thing, but that focus as well was quite quick. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. That is a lot of wheel spin off the line. <laughs> it's so much tire smoke. Whoa, the Fulvia! How is the Fulvia so fast? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like those little like track day things the Top Gear used to do. And everyone would show up in cars like this. I mean, they're not 500 horsepower cars, but close enough. Who's winning right now? Whoa, the Volvo! Whoa, the Volvo's gone! All right, we're up to fifth place, is that? That is fifth place. DJ's just in front of us. Somehow DJ's not winning. But the water slows down. Lancia! Lancia's gone. That Lancia was really fast. Oh, the understeer. The understeer's not even funny. Third gear wheel spins as well. We have race tires, but we also have 500 horsepower all going to the front wheels. They are fun to drive, though. They're so different. They really, like, make you almost change the way you you drive in the game. And that's me gone. I missed that checkpoint by about a mile. I don't even know what place I'm going to drop down into now. Eighth place! Ah, not cool. Next race we do is on the road. For predictions, though, I really don't know what's going to win. Like, there's... Everything seems to be so... Like, on a level playing field, I really wasn't expecting that, but if I had to give it to someone, I think those Civics are going to be pretty quick. Hey, Volvo man. Oh, no, I'm going to miss the checkpoint again. Try to take the jump nicely this time. Didn't take it that nicely. All right, we nailed it. So, let's see who won. DJ finished second. I think I actually finished sixth there. I think someone might have missed the checkpoint. Nope, seventh. So, Renault McGann, Renault McGann. Then, Civic Type R had a really good lap time, actually. The Lancia, though, with a 54.8. All right, let's, uh, I really like the track. Where is it? Is it? No, it's not that track. It's not that track. Yeah, where is this race I'm looking? Aha! Found it. I want to go do that race. Oh, I've been disconnected from Horizon 3 Online. All right, well, while everyone joins, and clearly people are not in the correct car... What the hell's going on here? Oh, yay! Here's the front-wheel drive crew. What up, boys? All right. Let's start this. All right. So, the Renault Megane currently winning, followed up by the Civic. I, I guess that's what we expected? Liam's like, all right, let's hope my controller doesn't die. Well, I, I think we found out what happened to Liam. Liam took a really interesting car choice. Like, I wasn't expecting that Fulvia to be so fast. Allie's like, I am not excited for an 800 horsepower front wheel drive Dodge Dart. Allie's like, I have no traction control or ABS. Who brought a 2012 GTR? Who's done that? Someone's royally messed up. All right. Days of wheel spin. Actually, mine stops wheel spinning in third gear. Look at the pull of the Renault. All right, let's try to not miss a checkpoint this time and set a decent time. Whoa, the focus is- Whoa, both focuses! Boys, slow in, fast out. It's it's just hard to get on the power in these things. I'm just gonna say. Because it, you're coming out of the corner. If you get on the power, your car just goes in a straight line. Yo, tandems, DJ. <laughs> DJ, that was 
is so sick. <laughs> Look at all the tire smoke. Yo, it feels good to drive though. Like, providing you don't smash the gas all the time. It's really grippy and really nice to drive actually. Damn, that's pretty good. I'm interested to see these lap times though. And there, there's the understeer. You know, maybe I should have put a wing. I see Ace of Kings has one. I saw DJ had a wing. I didn't put a rear wing. All I have is a front splitter. Here, let me show you what happens if I try to gun it out of a corner. All right, in power. Straight into the wall. If you don't want to do that, you have to be super nice to it. And like feather the hell out of the throttle or else it just goes straight into a wall. All right, we'll see what did well here. I feel like these Renaults are pretty fast. I just have a lot of trouble driving these front wheel drive cars, man. Like, usually, I'm okay. Yo, the Lancia though. No way. I, I, I shouldn't be surprised that the Lancia is so fast. Like, it's a good car and you can do a lot of upgrades to it. The little Fulvia that could. The Fulvia is awesome. It was that really cool car in Forza Horizon 2 where it raced against the uh, the train in, I would say, Forza's coolest race ever. All right. So you guys wanted to do a drag race? Let's do a drag race. So man, maybe the Fulvia is the best, like, front wheel drive car. I think this is where the Fulvia might have some trouble. I mean, it is really light, but I don't know how it's doing on the power department. 600 horsepower Civic. No way. So we might be the most underpowered in the Renault. Liam T in the Fulvia says he has 720 horsepower. So the ultimate front wheel drive car might be going to the Civic Type R because it's pretty good on the racetrack, the Fulvia because it's just freaking good everywhere, or if you make tires, the Dodge Dart because it'll just go through them super quick. All right, let's try this. We're not gonna win. There's Mr. Allison Hashbrown right next to me. Cue the mega tire smoke again. There goes that Fulvia. Still spinning his wheels. There goes Allie. Allie hits the VTEC. Goodbye, Allie. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, the focus. Oh, and there goes the Civics. Yeah, we're not fast here in the Renault crew. Oh my god, I think the focus just won that. I wasn't even paying attention to the focus the entire time. The focus just absolutely destroyed that. Yeah, us in the Renault again. No way, man. No way. So it's between the Focus RS, the old one, the Fulvia, and an 800 horsepower Dodge Dart. All right, let's do one more race. And the winner of the race is going to be the winner of the whole thing. I want to do a point-to-point -point race. Let's do this one. I like that one. With collisions off. Yeah, you know what, DJ? We'll turn collisions off. Super Stang says he has a thousand horsepower in his Focus. It's a V8 swapped Focus? Why the hell does Forza allow you to do that? I didn't know you could V8 swap a Focus. If I knew that, I would have done that. So, this is going to be winner takes all. Collisions are off. Let's see what's going to happen. It's got to be between that Focus, that Lancia, and I guess the Dodge Dart? We'll see what Ali can do. All right, let's give it a shot. Starting fourth place. DJ is starting first. That's going to be good for DJ. And collisions are off. So he's probably going to be very happy about that. And Liam's behind me. And I would not be surprised. Yep. That thing is so fast. 700 horsepower. And the thing's super light. Yo, DJ's giving him a good run for his money, though. Yo, where's the Dodge Dart? Dodge Dart is missing in action. Dodge Dart is, I think, bouncing off walls back there. Yo, this is a good track for them. Because you don't need to lift off too much. Yo, I think the Fulvia had a little problem. Yep, here's the Fulvia. Liam's had a little problem. DJ's currently leading this. Yo, these things are really fun. Yo, the Focus now. There's the V8 Focus. You can hear it as it comes past. I want to catch up. There's nothing I can do. This is so frustrating. Yo, how am I so slow back here? Yo, those Civics are fast. Yo, there you go. Yo, this is where I need the downforce. Yo, nice little corner cut. Yo, it doesn't turn. Come on. No, no, Civic. Thank you. All right. Well, DJ did manage to win that in his Civic, but we know how fast a driver he is. That Lancia was two seconds off his pace. You know, if I had to pick, I would say the Lancia is the best all around. I would say Lancia, because it's super light, horsepower like crazy, 
can do well in the race and in the drag races. I would say the ultimate uh, front wheel drive car is the Lancia Fulvia. I wasn't expecting that today. I was expecting it to be some little hot hatch, not a old Italian car that will probably break down. So, I mean, props to you, Liam, for bringing that thing out. But yeah. Okay, what have you guys done over here to me? What? Every time. This is what I have to deal with. 